welcome to your weekly love reading August 22nd to the 31st for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Hope you guys are doing really good. For those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session. Then I go ahead and do the tarot reading. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the meditative session. But actually, before that, jumping ahead. Sorry guys, my bad. Jumping ahead on myself. Um, I've noticed some of the comments recently, so now I, I've, I've realized I gotta go back to make my typical intro guideline rules, but I did make a video um, to not do that anymore, but if people don't watch the video, people watch the video, right? <laughs> um, so basically, guys, when it comes to tarot reading, well, first of all, I'm really getting ahead. Aries, I feel like you're wanting to like, I feel like you're really wanting to go ahead on something right here. Your energy's feeling very much like, go, 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 go. I gotta get out, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, Aries, calm it down, man. Calm it down. I can feel it. You're very antsy. You're very jumpy. You're you're like jumping at the bit to go do something. Go out. Go have fun. I can feel it. Um, so when it comes to my meditative session, guys, it's energy in and around you. So it can, it can pertain to you directly or someone in your energetic field or someone that's attached to you energetically, even if you're not talking to them or seeing them, okay? Um, and so, guys, when it comes to tarot readings, keep in mind that um, messages can be vice versa, it's just energy and energy is not linear it's fluid so if you got to reverse the roles you got to reverse the roles but it, it's if, if it's resonating it's resonating right so just, <clears throat> excuse me so just keep that in mind gender of the cards also doesn't matter we all have masculine and feminine energy so just keep that in mind along with sign energy as well i call out signs but i always indicate it as energy they don't have to be the particular signs um for this to resonate okay or whatever signs i'm calling out it's just energy being harnessed they do not have to be these specific signs okay all right so aries your meditative session the first thing i heard is the sun is out <laughs> the sun is out and it is summer at least in the northern hemisphere it's summer i know it's winter in the southern hemisphere um and whatever weather you've been experiencing some of you might literally have been in a time where it's like you haven't seen the sun in a while i think some of you have just been very busy very caught up uh, in your work or whatever it is that you've had to do it feels obligatory it feels like obligations for some of you and you're like oh shit wait a minute <laughs> I, I I actually can go and have fun. <laughs> I can actually go and enjoy myself. Some of you are realizing that. Others are realizing that you've been released from a situation, but you haven't like looked up to realize that. And you've been released for a while and it's like, oh, I actually don't have to be here. I actually don't have to be thinking about this. I don't have to be doing this. The sun is out. I, I, I'm free. Like I'm free, Aries. Like that's the energy how, it, that's, that's, uh, that's how this energy feels. It feels like freedom. It feels like elimination, fun, all kinds of amazing stuff. Some of you might be getting a lot of attention as well. Like with that sun energy, it's also spotlight energy. Some of you could feel like you're just getting a lot of attention from people. Some of you could actually be coming into the limelight or be public figures or just feel like you're number one. <laughs> Which Aries, is there every day where you don't feel like you're number one? I'm just saying. Um, there's also this energy of someone does feel like they found the one. Yeah, it, this energy of so, like someone feels like they found the one or has come to the realization that they have found the one, whether this is you or someone you're connecting with. And this next part I thought was actually really funny. Uh, Aries, you or someone you're connecting with or is connected to you, it's, it's, it's looking at someone like, like pie, like sweet as pie yummy as pie like sorry i'm like getting giddy about it actually it's it's who okay it, it's actually making me very giddy whoever's on the receiving end of this like being looked at as pie as sweet as pie very giddy energy it's almost like stop stop like it's, it's almost like that it's almost like that but there's something that's very like playful and sexy about it very playful and sexy about it like you or someone you're connecting with is like basically dessert okay <laughs> basically dessert all right Aries so let's go ahead and get into this um let's go ahead and check out these messages keep in mind guys messages come through for those who need to hear them so if it doesn't resonate with you it's just not your message and there ain't nothing wrong with that there ain't nothing wrong with that lots of channels to look at if you're looking for a specific message I just I'm the messenger I get what I get and sometimes uh very specific messages have to come through because people need to hear them and that's just how it goes guys I can't read for everybody on the planet at once so if it's not your reading don't get mad it just ain't your reading okay all right any messages for Aries regarding oh my god Aries you're so jumping at the bit or someone you're connecting to my goodness I can feel it I can barely stay in my seat <laughs> I can barely stay seated any messages for Aries 
you know, I honestly don't even want to sit. I want to keep like jumping up, jumping up, jumping up. Someone's jumping at the bit, man. Wow. Very excited. I'm feeling adrenaline actually. Ooh, okay. Whoever this is, you or someone connecting with, very nervous. Very ner nervous, adrenaline. Ooh. Ooh, even like sweaty palms. What is going on, Aries? Any messages for Aries? Regarding love, August 2nd to the 31st. I'm like, my heart's pounding. Oh my God. Ooh. Someone's heart is racing and it feels like it's for love. It feels like it's also out of excitement, giddiness. Oh my God. It's like, it's, it's intense. It's intense. Any messages for Aries? Any messages for Aries regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Aries, stop making me smile so much. Stop. Any messages for Aries? Ooh, August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Aries? Regarding love? August 2nd to the 31st. Okay, this is weird. Some of you might actually be eating pie. I just saw a lemon meringue pie. So you might actually be eating pie. That's very interesting. <laughs> Any messages for Aries? Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Aries? Let's see here. Oh, okay. I like it. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and the Two of Wands, Aries energy. And this is reevaluation. This is planting seeds for the next step, for the next path. About to take that next step. Someone's been planning for quite a bit, whether this is you or someone you're connecting with. Yeah. Someone's been, plant, been wanting to plant seeds for a while and putting in a big plan to make some big ass moves. And I feel like, I feel like the action part of this plan is about to take place. Yeah. I feel like the action part of this plan is about to take place. Oh, man. Any messages for Aries? Adoration. I just heard adoration. Adoration. Let's see what we got here. We have seven of wands, Leo energy. With a king of cups, scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air. And then we also have, oh my. The star in reverse, Aquarian energy. And the five of swords, more Aquarian energy. Venus and Aquarius to be specific. <laughs> oh. Sorry. My bad. Oh. Oh, wow, that actually hurt. Um, anyway, the Seven of Wands and the King of Cups, it's like someone is standing up for love. Someone's standing up for what they want, for what they desire, for what they love and who they love. But this energy, this tells me something needs, needs a lot of healing. This tells me something needs a lot of healing. A situation, thank you, a situation. A situation needs a lot of healing. This King of Cups was not always a King of Cups is actually what I'm gathering from this. Um, this King of Cups is standing up for what they want. They're fighting for what they want. You could be dealing with the water sign, not necessarily, but it's like, it's a very masculine, very, very, very masculine energy. Standing up for what they love and who they love, but they know they have to heal a situation. Yeah, this is like a new King of Cups. And when I say new King of Cups, this is someone who has not always been emotional. This is someone who's not, who has not always embraced love. Oh, I just heard in love with love. Oh, okay. This King... Whoever they are, Aries, you or someone you're connecting with, by nature, there's someone who's in love with love. A little bit of a hopeless romantic, by nature. Something happened to them, I feel like many a times over, that made that kind of be suppressed. Suppressed that. Probably made them more like a King of Cups in reverse. Uh, and I think because of that, they had this Five of Swords energy about them. Very tit for tat, very ego driven, ego driven because they needed some healing. But because of that, they I feel like, yeah, I just feel like they did not do so well in relationships after whatever happened to them. Something happened to them to really uh, suppress that part of them or lose that part of them. I'm feeling soul retrieval here. Um, yeah, I feel like this person just finished a soul retrieval process. Not necessarily, but that's how it feels. It's almost like they have that part of them back. Like they lost it along the way and now they have this part of them back. However, before they uh, reattained it, <laughs> before they reattained it, there's been a situation around this King of Cups and you, or again, it could be vice versa between the two of you. That's really required some healing because there was there was some defeat here. There is some defeat here, but this King is now standing up for love. Yeah, they're standing up for love. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got out here, Aries. Oh, I'm getting that adrenaline rush again. <laughs> 
Any messages for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Last card out. Oh, yeah, see, Nine of Wands. E. Sag energy. Worse, I just heard worse for wear. Worse for wear. Someone feels like they've just been tugged at, scratched at, poked at, dragged. I like, uh, yeah, I'm just getting all this like really kind of beaten on, bruised on. Not like, in the, not in an actual physical way. <laughs> not in a physical way. Like in an energetic way. Someone's at the end of their rope. Someone's at their end of the end. Someone's at the end of their rope with a situation. Scraggle, scraggle, scraggle. That's not a word. Sorry, I'm arguing with them. That's not a word. <laughs> scraggle's not helpful. <laughs> Sorry, I when I argue with my guys, sometimes it can be funny. They're like, "Fine, scrappy." Okay, scrappy. Someone, someone's to the point where they're being very scrappy in a situation because they're just fucking done. They're just done. Worse for wear. They're just done with a situation. Oh yeah, overall energy. Six of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. And underneath that, we have the queen of wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I do feel like this is you, Aries. My Aries people watching. It's a very feminine energy, okay? So just take that as it resonates. I'm reading the feminine energy as the Aries here. If you're a more masculine Aries, this could be vice versa. Take it as it resonates, like I said in the beginning, okay? But for the sake of the reading, to not confuse anybody, Aries, I'm going to be reading this as you. You have a mindset right now. Um, I feel like coming into this time period or coming into this whole situation um, of just of, of having enough, of having enough of like the mental chaos of it, the mental chaos of it. You're tired of thinking about it. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. And then this yeah the sun is out yeah they're telling me the sun is out again yeah realizing you don't have to be here realizing you don't have to be in this mindset you don't have to be you don't have to be you're realizing that and i feel like you are kind of releasing yourself here i feel like you are kind of releasing yourself this situation is exhausting it's been tumultuous you feel like you've been dragged around i like you're just done you're done. And the fact that you're standing upright tells me that you really are taking action to get yourself away from this energy because the sun is out and you're going to go enjoy yourself and you're going to go and be free. Come hell or high water, you're going to go and be free. You're going to go and be happy. Okay, so let's break down this energy of the seven of pentacles and two of wands. I'm very curious here. Uh, very curious as to what's going on with this energy. I'm going to use right away to clarify. It's definitely about planting seeds and going about your path. I feel like it's your energy, Aries. I do feel like it's your energy. I'm going to look at the Seven of Pentacles here. Play on the Seven of Pentacles for Aries, and then we're going to look at this King of Cups. And then the Nine of Wands. Play about Seven of Pentacles. Play about Seven of Pentacles for Aries. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Aries, for a lot of you, this is recent past. Sorry, they're bringing my attention back to this. This is your overall energy for this reading, but I think that's because this is your recent past, okay? You, this is where you were, and now you freed yourself because you're about to make some moves for your betterment, for your betterment, because you're freeing yourself. I know Seven of Pentacles, which is why I think whoever this king is has now suddenly become a king of cups. They were not always a king of cups. I feel like they're probably more of a king of swords, king of cups in reverse energy, even a king of wands in reverse energy. Like if you've been watching readings on this person for a while, that's probably how they were coming across, like a king of swords or a king of wands in reverse, even possibly king of cups in reverse. Um, and I think because you're releasing, yeah, because you're releasing yourself and you're refusing to be in this mental state about it, and you're really taking charge into making some moves and going on a new path for yourself, going on your new course, it's made this person have to take a hard look at themselves and turn around, but I feel like there's a soul retrieval in that process for this king, okay? Play about the Seven of Pentacles for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Wow. Chariot, Cancerian energy, what did I say? You're making moves. <laughs> You're making moves. You're not sitting still. You can't sit still. <laughs> you can't sit still. You can't get out fast enough. You can't get out fast enough. You made a plan and now you can finally take action on that plan because you just, you can't be in this anymore. You just, you can't. You can't. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. 
see here. Wow, High Priestess, Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. You already know. I feel like you've been keeping this a secret, Aries. I feel like you've been keeping this plan a secret or someone's been keeping this plan a secret. It's like been in the back of your head. And once you realize that like the sun is out, it's almost like your window of opportunity. The sun's out. Oh, wait a minute. I, 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 I'm actually free. I'm actually free. Bloop. First up, it's like, <laughs> you cannot wait. You can't wait to get the hell out of Dodge. But I do feel like you've been keeping it a secret. You're also following your intuition here. You're following your intuition. You're being guided to do this. You're being guided to do this. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles for Aries. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Aries regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Keep in mind, guys, it could be vice versa. I feel like some of you guys are still asking me that. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Aries. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Aries regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles for Aries. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's that trapped feeling. Wow. Wow. Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Yeah, Aries, look at where you've been. This mental state you've been in, trapped in this situation, like I said, it's almost like, wait, I'm free? I've been so trapped. I'm free? That Ace of Wands is like a suppressed desire is actually what I'm getting. It's like, it's your motivation. That's what it is. It's your motivation to get out. Hold on, let me pick up these cards. Hi. The Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands. That's progression. Making moves to get out. This is you being like, I can't be in, I can't be here. I can't be in this anymore. How could I get out of this? I feel so trapped in this. I feel so stuck in this. Some of you, it's like you weren't even realized you were trapped. Like I said, some of you, it's like you were just really busy or just like you were obligated to some things. And Seven of Pentacles in reverse is not planting your seeds properly. It's not being on the right path. It's almost like wasted efforts. You were stuck in a situation where it just was not serving you. It was not serving you. It was keeping you from progressing. And you're like, wait a minute. Uh-uh. <laughs> no 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 i'm not gonna do this anymore i'm gonna wait for my window of opportunity some of your window of opportunity just showed up and it's like boop i'm out i'm gone i'm gone you've been keeping this desire to leave um hidden you've been keeping this desire to leave, to leave hidden okay for those who've been aware that they've been trapped for those who haven't been aware that you've been trapped it's like a sudden realization and you cannot get out fast enough once you realize i'm not as free as i thought i was Overall energy for the Seven of Pentacles, full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. Yeah, like I said, for those who've been aware that they've been trapped, full card, you felt like you haven't been able to jump off that cliff because you've been trapped and confined. The second you see the sun come out, the second you realize, holy shit, there's a window of opportunity. Once you realize, oh my God, I'm not actually as trapped as I thought I was, you're gone. You're gone. I... Look at this. Nine of Wands. You're gone. <laughs> gone, Aries. Gone like the wind. All right. So let's look at what's going on with this King of Cups, this other person here. Someone all of a sudden who wants to stand up for love now, all of a sudden wants to stand up for love when there's a lot of healing that needs to happen between the two of you because of some egotistical behavior, ego-driven behavior, um, some very defeating behavior, defeating words. Um, let's look at the Seven of Wands. And see what it is this king is saying. This king might be saying, where are you going? This king might literally be saying that. But Aries, you're out the door so fast that it's like, the, the king doesn't, the king's like, wait a second, what? Like, wait a second. Like, for some, it's like the king is almost caught off guard by this, okay? But some of you, there is a bit of a, there is a bit of a conversation like, you're leaving? Where are you going? For some of you, okay? So let's look at the seven of wands. Um, steampunk? Yeah. I was called steampunk, so I'll do steampunk. Tell me about the Seven of Wands for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Seven of Wands for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Oh, Lord, I thought I saw something. Tell me about the Seven of Wands for Aries regarding love. I just heard July, just heard July, for August 22nd to the 31st. Something might have happened in July, triggered in July, triggered, I'm hearing triggered. Yeah, triggered in July. Tell me about Seven of Wands. 
the Hierophant, Taurian energy. This is fascinating. The Hierophant is also known as the High Priest to the High Priestess. It's like, it's, it's the male equivalent to the High Priestess. I'll, I'll just keep it that way. I'll just keep it simple. Aries, while you're following your intuition and, and you're being divinely guided, so is this king. So is this king. This is getting interesting. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. This king is being divinely guided to stand up for love after becoming that King of Cups, like again, newly becoming this King of Cups. And Aries, you're being guided to go along your path, go along the new path here. Why would they guide? Why would they guide someone to chase and the other to run? <laughs> Sorry, my guides are cracking me up today. To light a fire. <laughs> It's a lot of fire under the butt of the king. Got it. It's almost like teaching the king a lesson. It's take, it, Yeah, it's to teach the king a lesson and it's to get this queen uh, where she needs to be. Or he, right? Because it's just energy. It's not about gender. Tell me about seven of wands. The emperor. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. These two cards together, if that is not divine masculine energy, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah, it's so interesting. Aries, you're being guided to go where it is. You need to go for your betterment, for your betterment. And this king is being guided to basically chase you, to basically chase you, to light a fire under them, to get them to be the person they're supposed to be, to get them to level up and to teach them a lesson. Wow. Wow. I love spirit. I love spirit. Um, yeah, this is basically them standing in their power, standing in their autonomy to take charge and to basically rise up, like level their, their shit up, level, the, level their shit up, take responsibility for themselves and to stand really confident and really strong in, in, in love, in love. I'm just, I'm, I'm baffled. This is an awesome reading. So I about seven of wands for Aries. Tell me about Seven of Wands for Aries. Tell me about Seven of Wands for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Ace of Swords in reverse. Wow. This king has been denying some truth, man. They've been trying not to see some stuff. They've definitely been trying not to see. They've been trying not to see, but it's... Well, that's pointless at this point. Pointless at this point. It's pointless at this point. I feel like whatever they have, they've been trying to not see has just been like truths about themselves, but also truths about you, Aries, and maybe how they've treated you. Because with this star in verse and five of swords, this is some major needing to heal some bullshit. All right. Needing to hear, 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 well, <laughs> needing to heal, needing to heal some bullshit that's happened between the two of you. I'm part of them. I'm part of them. And I'm not trying to paint this person in a bad light because clearly they're leveling up. Spirit's really guiding them to level up, but they've really been ignoring some truths here. They've been ignoring some truths. Overall energy, we have Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. I feel like they haven't known what they've wanted either. They've been so confused about themselves, Aries. They've been so confused about themselves that how could they see any truth? Like, how could they see the truth about you or this connection or situation when they can't even look at themselves and they're confused as shit about themselves? right? They can't. They can't, but they're being guided to. They're being guided to. They're being guided to level up. Underneath the Seven of Cups, we have the Tower in Reverse. Tower in Reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this has Mars influence here. Um, getting flooding of emotion now all of a sudden. Yeah, whatever this tower was, it's definitely an old tower. It's definitely an old tower, and I feel like it's associated with what needs healing. Whatever this tower moment was between the two of you it's now left a space that really is requiring some major healing between the two of you if anything needs to happen if anything could happen you know they gotta heal that they have to be proactive in that and spirit's trying to get them to do that spirit's trying to get them to do that they spirit has guided them to the point where they're now a king of cups upright someone who does want to fight for love stand up for what their heart is desiring stand up for what their heart wants putting them in very 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 confident divine energy and really being forced to see the things they've been ignoring, being being forced to see things they've been in denial about. Now let's move to this Nine of Wands. 
I'm a little worried for this energy, but it's the last card we're ending on, and then we'll pull some advice. Um, I'll do Gilded for this one. Okay. Play with the Nine of Wands. Play with the Nine of Wands for Aries. Regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Aries. Regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Wands for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Play with the Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. One more. Okay. Wow. Four of Wands in reverse Aries energy. Yeah, it's like this is how the situation has been up until the point, Aries, where you decided I'm not sitting in this shit anymore. I'm releasing myself. I, I don't need this mental chaos. I don't need this mental torture. I don't need to be trapped and longing and desiring for something better, something I deserve, something that's going to make me happy. It's tired. It's a tired ass situation. It's also left you tired, Aries. It's also left you tired. And with four of wands in a verse, it tells me that there really hasn't been any cohesiveness for quite some time between the two of you. Tell me about Nine of Wands. Definitely no stability. Tell me about Nine of Wands. So sorry, guys. I got a phone call. I thought my phone was on Do Not Disturb. Um, I'll just have to stitch these. Sorry. My bad. All right. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Yeah. It's like, re yeah, releasing this shit. Releasing this shit because it's tired. It's tired. I'm also getting that there's a lot of baggage here. I feel like it's this king's baggage. Both, both. Oh, okay, they're correcting me. Both of you have had baggage about um, dysfunctional relationships, dysfunctional home lives. And Aries, I feel like you've already done the work to release that, but I feel like this king really was holding on a hell of a lot longer than they should have to their own baggage. And that left, 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 that led to this kind of energy and that awful tower moment, whatever it was for you guys. That's what that led to. When we don't release our baggage, we bring it into the new situations we have in our life. And it just re it just comes to this. It comes to this. It's chaotic. It's dramatic. It's destructive. It's unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Tell me about Nine of Wands. Tell me about Nine of Wands for Aries regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Nine of Wands for Aries. But man, this king is definitely, this king's looking at this queen like she's very yummy. Tell me about Nine of Wands for Aries. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Nine of Wands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, look at this. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. This king is very upset with the queen here. This emperor is very upset with this queen. Um, feels like the queen has turned her back. I'm also feeling a history of disloyal partners. On This is so fascinating. On both ends. I'm feeling this on both ends. Both of you have dealt with very disloyal partners in the past who've really, excuse me, have done damage to your heart chakras. But like I said, queens, I can tell you've done your work. I can tell you've done your work to deal with it. And it's only recently that this king has been doing their work on their baggage, which is why they're now a king of cups versus a king of swords or king of wands in reverse, which is how, you know, how they used to be. It's the energy they're transitioning out of. Look at this. I mean, look how scraggly, scraggly. I was like, scraggle? That's not a word. Scraggly, scraggly and scrappy. <laughs> this person is and the way that they take action into things, right? All because of this baggage, because people were not loyal. Overall energy. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio underneath that. The world in reverse, which I love seeing with this. Fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn neutrals Capricorn. This is putting an end to the pain. Putting an end to codependency as well. I'm getting strong codependency on the part of... Oh. Both of you have struggled with codependency. But like, yeah, it's almost like this king has had to play catch up because they've been in denial so long. They've been in denial so long about themselves and you and the situation at hand. But both of you, both, 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 both of you, Jesus, Aries, slow it down. Both of you have had issues with codependency in some form of another. But like I said, it almost feels like this king has had to play catch up. No more. 
this shit is over. This cycle of codependency, this cycle of carrying around baggage of people who are disloyal, dysfunctional home lives, dysfunctional relationships, hurt, heart chakras, scraggly, defensive, guarded behavior, all of that's done. The time for that, it's over. The time for that's over. No more. None of that. None of that. I think both of you are done with this, but Aries, I think, I think you just got to your point where it's like, I'm out. I'm out until I see that all that shit is truly over and you haven't seen it from this king yet. And I think because there's been a rift, for some of you, you're not even talking, which is why you haven't seen it yet. But also this king hasn't stepped forward. This king hasn't shown it to you. This king hasn't proved it to you. So I don't really blame you. I don't really blame you for being like, I'm out. I'm out. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some advice. And it's, and like I said, they're being guided to basically level up and essentially chase you, Aries, and you're being guided to go on your new path because it is teaching them that lesson. It is teaching them that lesson and it is giving them that motivation they need to get their shit together. Okay. All right. Any advice for my Aries? But you go enjoy you. All right. Hold on. If I can hold this up. You go and enjoy you, boo. <laughs> go and enjoy your life. Go and be happy. Go into the sun because the sun is out. So go and enjoy because you deserve it. Okay. Any advice for my Aries oh, regarding this spread? Okay. These cards want to talk, Aries. My goodness. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries? Regarding this spread. Any advice for my Aries? Regarding this spread. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Oh my. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god, Aries. I love it. It's, a, it's essentially everything I've been saying. So we have three cards out here. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being, 38 breaking down to an 11, a manifestation energy, very Aryan, very Aryan. Um, I did a reading recently on Patreon. What was it? It was like, you found a way, right? Like Aries, you guys are really good at making shit happen. You're Aries, you're the first zodiac sign, you're, you're Mars, you're war, you're, you're, you are like the, the plotters. You, you can see a situation and you can instantly come up with a way to deal with it, instantly. And that's exactly what you're doing. The sun's out, you see that window, and you're going for it. No hesitation. Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery with the energy of eight. Leading, this is leading you to success. Le <coughs> Damn it. Let me get some water, guys. Hold on. Mm. Mm, okay. This is leading you to success, abundance, prosperity, security, confidence confidence first and foremost and it is a full energy so even though you don't know exactly what's on the other end of your journey here your path you just know it's good <laughs> you just know it's the right thing and you know it's leading to that sun freedom joy some i said like spotlight energy you know it's leading to that and it's exactly what you need right now and then look freedom freedom horse spirit freedom is yours with the energy of 33 what have I been saying this whole time, Aries? You're free. You're free. Go and do whatever the hell you want to do because you're free. Okay? And successful at that. I mean, my God, look at these numbers. 11, 8, and 33. 33 and 11 are both master numbers. 8 is that vibration of prosperity and success. Very nice. Very nice. Show me the energy. Uh, uh, any advice? Sorry, <laughs> thought I was doing a different reading for a second. Any advice? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Ooh. Okay, Aries. This is just advice. This is just advice. Okay. And what I've been saying this whole time too. Aries, you're being guided to be where it is you need to be for your betterment, for your happiness, for your joy. And this king is being guided to finally step into the who the person they're supposed to be. 
Stepping into that leveled up energy, that confident energy, that very, very masculine energy. Reverse the roles if you need to. Gender doesn't apply here. Um, <clears throat> to step into the person they're supposed to be and to fight for love, to fight for what they want, to fight for what their heart sings for. After going through a bit of a soul retrieval for some, others, it could have been a dark night of the soul. Others, it could have been an ego healing. I don't like the term ego death because we need our egos. Um, they just need to be healthy. They just need to be healthy. Um, going through a bit of a change themselves. But queens, you haven't seen it because there hasn't been a conversation here about it. This king hasn't approached you for many of you. And queens, you're so fed up. You're just like, I'm out. And spirit's showing you the way. Just like spirit is showing the king the way to you. I cannot believe these cards came out here. That spirit, a rebirth, a rebirth is assured with the energy of five and otter spirit. You are never alone. 42, bringing down to a six, there's progression energy here. Otter spirit is like my lover's card, my two of cups, my six of cups. It's that yummy, amazing partner who's really got your back, who really has your emotional support, who's really there for you, who really wants to be there for you. This process for for quite a few of you who are resonating with this, like I said, this king has, has just become a king of cups, a healthy king of cups. After being a king of swords or king of wands in a verse for a lot of you, for those who've been watching this person in tarot readings. Something is new here. Something has changed. Something's different. Something's different about the both of you. Because queens, you took your action that you needed to take. And this king is now being guided to take the action they've needed to be taking to heal a situation after ignoring some harsh truths about themselves, you, and this situation. This might give you guys a whole new window of opportunity down the line. And when I say down the line, down the line could be a week from now, months from now, years from now. Either way, Aries, you're not waiting for nobody and you shouldn't, okay? Because you're free. Because <laughs> you're free. You shouldn't be waiting on anybody. You shouldn't be waiting around doing nothing, waiting for anybody. If you want to wait for this person, you make sure that you wait actively by living your best life and doing what you want to do for yourself. And when this person's up to the caliber, knows how to treat you right, knows how to love you, knows how to respect you, and you want to give this person that second go, it's ba Spirit's basically saying that opportunity is, is pretty much there or will be there depend like depending on your situation because some of you this is going to be months out maybe even a year or two out you know for that for those where this resonates with if you want it if you want it these are just opportunities i'm not telling you to do anything these are just opportunities okay but there's a lot of love here and this king has finally stepped into the energy that they need to step into to have healthy emotions about love relationships because they finally released their baggage after you have long already released your baggage. Overall energy, we have eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. What did I say about guidance? Divinely guided, right? 23 breaking down to a five. You are guided, Aries, to be where you need to be. And this king is being guided to step into the person that they need to be. Both of you are being guided here. Spirit has a close eye on this situation. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Spirit has a really close eye on this situation. Um, they're, they're playing a little bit of like divine intervention where, where it needs to be, where it needs to be. But right now, Aries, you're free. You, you, you've really manifested this for yourself. You're going to manifest more for yourself and you're going to prosperity. So enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's your time. The sun is out. Go and enjoy the sun. Okay? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste, Aries.